guys and welcome back to my channel for today's video i have something really really exciting i know you can see me wearing a suit i know you're wondering why i'm wearing a suit and a very cute suit that that needs a little bit of ironing so for today's video i am going to be going to spend a day in the life of a group of young people who are on the civil service fast stream and I just can't wait. Very excited to go and get a scoop of behind the scenes and see what goes on because I don't know much about it. Obviously, you guys know that on this channel, it's all about growing and glowing together as a team and that any chance that I get to show you guys different opportunities of different things that you can do with your amazing, incredible lives, I'm going to do that because like I always say, not everybody is going to want to follow the path that I followed and I don't expect you to because we are a group of multifaceted young people who have different interests across the board and that's why I love being a part of this channel and of course before the video begins I just want to say a massive thank you to the civil service fast stream for sponsoring today's video the civil service is one of the largest employers in the UK and it works to support today's government in implementing its policies and all of that jazz so fast streamers basically work across the civil service and they work in different government departments gaining experience as they get developed to become our future leaders basically and i just can't wait to meet some of these incredible young people and see what they're all about and what they do So hi guys, I've arrived at the Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government and this is where Daniel, who is a fast streamer, is typically based and I'm going to be meeting him later to find out more about what he does. Everybody. I'm now finally with Dan and I'm going to ask you to just introduce yourself so that everybody knows what stage of the civil service fast stream you're at, how long you've been doing it. Hi everyone, um, I'm Dan, I'm a first year journalist fast streamer, well actually just about to start second year in a week's time. Um, so I just finished um, <laughs> first year fast stream um, oh. where I was working at the Valuation Office Agency and the Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government yeah. uh, working on like stuff to do with tax basically oh oh yeah, it's, it's been an interesting year <laughs> what type of extracurricular activities and opportunities should university students looking for a career in the civil service be doing like the people at home want to know down I, th I think the thing is for me it was about finding something i was passionate about yeah um so for me that was a couple of things so i have a disability so for me it was helping people like me so i set up mm -hmm. a support group uh, just online just to help people like me and that was a really good event to, to learn yeah. new skills around leadership and growing a team and a community to really to get that uh, kind of those ideas and those thoughts going yeah. um but i think it, what what is really important is just that you you find something that you care about and you really you really put it put the time in because yeah. the examples will come from whatever you choose whether it's I don't know rowing or football or student politics um that was my other other uh my time exit that was the other thing i did oh, did a lot of student so politics nice. so um you know there's a whole raft of things to do at uni yeah. um and just making kind of um use of them is the key thing because you'll find that your examples will flow out of those because yeah. it's not necessarily about what you do at this stage it's how you do it and the mindset that you're going through when you're oh. doing those things so it's that's what it's really about is, is that mindset and, and building and growing that mindset yeah. and what was like the biggest challenge that you found while doing the application sure so um i um had come off of what's called the summer diversity internship program and they nice. recruit alongside the fast stream at the same nice. time so I, i'd done that the year before i applied so mm -hmm. um, i had to do all my online tests mm -hmm. um i had to do then um some more online tests which were around so rather than just like situational just went things like that which were yeah. the first round the yeah. second round was very much more about how do i how do i work on like the day-to-day -day, just yeah. to try and get a picture of who i am and how what makes me tick and what i enjoy and like how i would lead a team potentially and how mm. i would um kind of react in different scenarios um then that led into a video interview which yes. is probably where i faced 
the, the biggest challenge. challenge. Yeah, okay. it was. It was. I. I. I don't. It was very odd the video interview because yeah. it's a bit like there's no one sat opposite you. There's no one to judge your no re one's judge reacting. your reaction. Yeah. So you you've got to kind of put in all the the oomph and like you yeah. know facial expression and be yeah. like I'm interested, which of course you will be if you're applying. But like trying to get that across to when there's not someone in front of you to react there's to. No there's no one to play off. You're yeah. just playing off to a camera. So it's it's very odd. Yeah. But um kind of once you settle into it like i think you get the chance to do a couple of practices or at least mm, one i think yeah. where you're not you're not uh, timed or anything you just get to answer a random question yeah. that isn't scored and it's just like yeah okay right and we're ready to go and i really use that as a chance to kind of overcome that barrier of feeling kind of like there was nobody there So guys, I know a lot of you will think that the civil service is only based in London. I know that I did, but actually there are lots and lots and lots of opportunities around the UK. And a fun fact is the civil service is starting to move out of London and to become more regional. So that is fun. Hey guys, so I've made it to the Department of Transport, which is right here, looking all pretty. And this is where Kim is typically based and she has been a fast streamer for the past year. And I just can't wait to hear all about what she gets up to in a building like this, where someone like her would typically be based. So let's find out more. So guys, I am finally now with Kim and I've been chatting to her. We've just been having a great time, <laughs> but I also want you guys to meet her and to learn about her stories. So introduce yourself and then I'll fire away with the questions. I'm so professional today, <laughs> feeling it. So um, what's your name and tell us a little bit about you. Girl. So my name is Kim Emanike. Hey. I am 23 years of age. I am on the project delivery fast stream. Yeah. I've just completed, well, in, in fact, three weeks, I'm gonna complete my first rotation. Congratulations! Yes, and then I'm moving on to my second rotation, which wow. is gonna be a secondment out of government. So, Ooh. yeah. How did, how did we get here? How did we get there? Yeah. How, what did you study at A-level? What did you do at uni? Yes. And how did you end up in this position? Okay, mm -hmm. I like that. We'll tell a little bit of yeah, story. Yeah, give us a little bit of the Vava Vroom. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, so it started from sixth form. Yeah. I decided that I wanted to study government and politics, wow. business, mm -hmm. and finance. I was like, you know wow. what? Wow. And at this point, like, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, so I did mm. three broad, quite generic subjects, because yeah. then you can kind of go into anything. Because mm. you know some people, they wake up and they're like, I want to be a doctor, I want to be yeah. a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Like, I just thought, oh. I like business, mm. but I've also always loved politics. Mm. So I thought, you know what, study study both. Let's see, see, see what happens. Dibble and dabble and see what happens. Dibble and dabble. So um, from then, I got AAB, and I went to... <laughs> I went on to Loughborough. Um, nice. I studied international business. I got to like second year of uni when I was applying for a placement. Yeah. I still didn't know what I wanted to do. And just in final year, like my university, they sent out like bulletins where yeah, it's loads yeah, of different yeah. jobs Lots that are going in. Mm -hmm. And then I stumbled across the civil service. And one of my good sis, she actually did an internship at yeah. the civil service and she told me she loved it and it was wow. great. And she was like, oh Kim, you should apply. And I was like, nah, I don't think I want to work in politics. Like, I know I love to study it, but, but you don't work. I don't know about working it. Yeah. And I mean, I just don't want to be an MP. That's not really, wasn't my career goal. Yeah. So I remember looking into it and there's like 15 different streams. And I was thinking, wow, okay. So within government, you, you can got... basically do business. Yeah. So for me, it kind of mixed my passion and just what I like to learn in yeah, general. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, I'd like to say I've always been kind of passionate about politics, but my specialism and like my degrees in business. So to imagine to work for the government, but doing a business role, it's the best of two worlds. Do you know what I mean? I'm using my A-levels, using my yeah. degree. Oh, why not? So then I saw project um, management, but they obviously call it project delivery. Mm. And I was like, this sounds like me. This like, do you know what I mean? It's a bit me. If you see me on yeah. paper, it's, that's oh, what I am. I love <laughs> Project that. delivery, because it's all about leadership, mm. leading, directing, um, managing a team. Yeah. And I feel like based on my like skill set, that's my best side. That's what I like to do. I'm, wow. I'm a people person. So yeah, I applied um, and then obviously God did his thing late night in the midnight hour. He was turning it around and I got into the scheme. Wow, so, yeah. that is amazing. And what I heard from there is that 
the silver service got options got that options, silver service sass stream has options <laughs> like you're seeing 15 different things and you can basically choose what aligns most with you and yeah. like what suits you the best right yeah. you don't feel like you're kind of being boxed off into one thing like this career has many different parts and you have to find what's what's right for you right that is true So guys, I have arrived at the Ministry of Defence, one of the departments that Joshua has been based. He's also been based in the Department for International Trade and the Foreign and Commonwealth Office and I'm excited to learn more about what he's up to now. I'm now with Josh and I just want to hear a little bit about what you're doing like what division or department of the civil service are you in and like when did you join? Of it so I am currently in the Ministry of Defence uh, working out of strategic command which yeah. is not your average kind of Whitehall office it's yeah. kind of quite a few people but it's instead a very small base um, mm -hmm. really really interesting environment um, yeah. I'm just about to finish my first year of the Civil Service first year. Yeah. Whilst being part of the diversity internship, what are some of the challenges that you faced and how do you think these challenges have helped you and hindered when it comes to doing, you know, outreach for young people? Definitely. Um, look, I think the first thing to say is yeah. that, you know, the Civil Service for me wasn't really an option that my family talked about all too much. It wasn't yeah. a thing that schools really advertised. Yeah. And, I almost found out of it on a kind of a stroke of luck. One of my really? friends mentioned it to me that he'd done the early diversity internship mm -hmm. program and said that it was really cool. So I gave it a little Google, threw in an application and yeah. there it was. But um, I think one, just kind of knowing that it's out there and yeah. just having the confidence to throw in an application and to know that actually, you know, I, listen, I ran a paper round in the morning, yeah. right? When I, from the age of about 13 yeah. uh, and did a little bit of debate coaching with DebateMate, who are an mm. excellent, excellent organization. And to put that down as experience that I had and get brilliant feedback of that's exactly that. what we're looking for. You I know? love that. To know that all those experiences are well valued by the civil yeah, service. I love that. What are the most vital steps that someone should take to prepare for a role like yours specifically? So like mine currently within the MOD or within the fire? Yeah, stream? like, you know, getting ready to be on the fast stream. Sure. I think a couple of things. I think the first is prepare that internal confidence because I will point out that, you know, you come in, I'm 20, I was 21 when I started this yeah, program. Yeah. I just left university, mm -hmm. it was my first job, and suddenly I was on top of the Ministry of Defence working within kind of strategic command. Do you know which how is, cool that is? It, it's simultaneously cool, but also absolutely terrifying. Oh, right? Of course. You know, mm -hmm. and sometimes you walk around the office, like everyone in my office mm -hmm. is about twice my age. Wow. They've all had military careers, some yeah. 30, 40 years in length. Um, wow. and know it back to front and I think it is that confidence to come in and being both confident enough to take the lessons from them mm -hmm. take their advice but also confident enough to know that you have something to add mm -hmm. you have an output and you are there for a reason oh, yeah. um, and I think the second thing in terms of just kind of the, those big lessons to kind of take forth uh, to kind of get yourself prepared in this fast dream adventure mm -hmm. is just the sense that it's going to be an adventure you know, gonna you're going to try lots of different things. You know, I'm personally really gutted to leave my current placement, oh. but then heard about my new one and was like, yeah. well, this sounds great. You know, and you know what's beautiful about it is you feeling gutted means that you enjoyed it. It means exactly. that you found something that you love. And even if you had to go through all of your different rotations and you now know that was the one that caught your attention the most, you can dive right back in. And that's beautiful exactly it's exactly what the fast room's for because mm -hmm. you know it's three years of three very unique experiences so you'll come out the end informed and, and ready to give it a proper go and if you guys at home are interested after hearing the people i've spoken to after hearing all this amazing stuff at how welcome in the civil service fast stream is click the link in the description box and go and check out the civil service fast stream you've got nothing to lose explore see what the options are who knows what could happen exactly, exactly. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in another video bye
Oh, my God.